And today we're going to try a little something. A little something, something. A little something, something. <laughs> I know a few weeks back uh, we did the video at the uh, Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association the Nationals uh, meeting and, and rally. And, um, you know, just being around motorcycles, talking about motorcycles. And, you know, before we left out to go full time, I had been going through rehab. Yes. for my nerve issues yeah and the reason that if you haven't caught it before the reason that we don't ride is because i had nerve issues hip leg back and it was preventing me from being if my leg would go numb yeah preventing me from being able to put my leg down and that's no bueno no bueno <laughs> so did rehab um did some physical therapy mm -hmm. and talked to the doctors before i left and they said well you you're, you're free to try it out if you want to yeah they thought you rehabbed enough to, mm -hmm. to, but at to the notice. time we had, our, we had just purchased the Montana. We had already made the decision to, to not go toy hauler, to go with yeah. the Montana because of the issue. Mm -hmm. So we already had all that stuff when they said, hey, you're clear to try. Yeah. And I was like, well, that ship's already kind of sailed. Yeah. You know, so. Um, we said maybe down the road someday. Maybe down the road. And I did visit the doctors while we were back there quarantined for, for mm -hmm. Rona. And uh, again, they reiterated, you're free to try. Um, we got the Alliance now and um, so now we're gonna try. The only way to try is to rent a motorcycle. Yes. Uh, uh, a test drive is just not gonna be long enough. No. We need to be on the bike for a couple of hours, uh, trying different terrain too. Yeah. Um, you know, highway, curves, all that good stuff. Yeah. But logistically, will it work with our setup, with our yeah. truck and our fifth wheel? So we had to work out the logistics of that to see if, it, if it's even possible. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple things that we had to do to, to make sure that it was even worth even renting a bike to see if we could even work it out. Yeah. So there is a couple things that we did. I'll show you. Now, in order to potentially tow a motorcycle behind the fifth wheel, mm -hmm. A, we have to have a solution for that, which, <laughs> which we do, we think. Yes. We're going to meet up with a guy who's, who's worked on a solution for those who are not in toy haulers to tow motorcycles behind they're, without having to have a flatbed trailer yeah um so in order for that to happen we have to find a place for the bikes and, and the bike rack yes and the only solution for that because we don't have a, a hitch receiver on the front of our truck or anything like that the only way to do that is to take all this stuff that was back here yeah. and put it in the storage somehow oh god <laughs> <laughs> to free up this hitch receiver yeah. so that was step one see yeah. if we can take all this stuff Put it in the storage. Yeah. Let's go look at it. Okay. Now, we got the bikes in there because our bikes do fold up. So you'll see my bike here, Leslie's bike way back there, folded up. And then on the other side over here, you'll see a little piece of the rack over there. That's because it is it is dug in, man. And we stacked everything around it like Tetris. So, at a minimum, we know it's possible. The only downfall <laughs> is that if we can want to go ride bikes, it's all coming out. That doesn't all have well, to come. Well, I, I, if we want to ride bikes from the campground, good. These bikes will get come out pretty easily. Yeah. Take this out, bikes will all both slide out, right you're out. good to go. If you want to go somewhere off site and you want to get to this rack, yeah, it's all coming out. <laughs> to get to the rack to put the rack on the truck to put the bikes on the rack to take the rack out to ride but um yeah but it's it's doable and yeah. that's what we just wanted to know yeah because not any more weight is just in a different spot exactly so we're not adding any weight so we know now that this is possible we're working on a solution to tow a bike if i'm able to ride yeah uh with the manufacturer of this solution that we're talking about we don't want to get into too much detail because if it ain't gonna work out, we need to talk about it. Exactly. Um, so we got all this figured out, and now we ran a bike. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice bike too. It is. <laughs> I know I'm gonna catch. Oh yeah, we're. we're I know I'm gonna catch <laughs> because we ran an Indian. Yeah. And we tried to go to Eagle Rider and rent a Harley because if we do get a bike, it'll be it'll probably it will be, be it'll a probably Harley. be a Harley. But um, when we went to the local dealership. They gave us an address to the Eagle Rider where you can rent motorcycles. Yeah, it wasn't there. She said, no, it's a different location for that. Yeah, so we went there to the address, the address. And it's the Indian rental place. She said the Harley place is another Keeps, half hour up the yeah, road. Yeah, she said they, they they do that a lot. They send them to there. And so we were there. I said, well, what's your thing? You know? So we're on an Indian today yeah. uh, just to give it a try. It, 
it's very resemblant of your street glide. Street glide. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, the way that it functions, the way that it rides, a couple little things are different, but for the most part, it's a touring, you know, it's a bagger. So it's a brand new one. Yeah, it's got like 2,000 miles on it. So, it, and it'll ride pretty much like a street glide. Yeah. So, it'll give me a good feel. Now, when we went over, we had to go up to Sturgis. We're in, in Rapid City. We had to go up to Sturgis to get the bike, and now yeah. I rode it back here. So, I got the highway in. Yeah. About 40 minute, 40 ride. minute ride. So, I got a decent feel for that, and everything's good so far. But now, we're going to take it on some curves. Yeah. See how she does. And, and, and further out. Yeah. So, uh, I'll get a, I'll get a longer ride, so we're gonna go about maybe an hour, hour and a half out, hour, hour and a half back. Yeah. Lots of curves, a little bit of highway. So I think uh, about a two and a half to three hour ride is gonna give us a good idea yeah. of whether we're gonna be able to do this or not. And then if we do decide to do it, we'll bring you along for that journey too, yeah. for all that craziness. Okay. So, but for now, let's go ride. We're gonna die of heat. It's hot. It's so hot today. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I made it up the uh, Needles Highway. Yeah. Very scenic. Gorgeous. Awesome scenery, man. Unbelievable rock. The, the ride overall was, was pretty good until we actually got onto the Needles Highway. Uh, so we'll have Leslie on the GoPro on the way down uh -huh. and we will show you uh, the beautiful ride back down the mountain. Yeah. And head it back to, uh, back to camp. Uh, so far so good. How, you, how do you feel? Good. Yeah. My butt was going numb. Was it? Here towards the end. I'm glad yeah. we're off. Because we were about an hour and a half. I mean, it's a stock seat, so it's not going to be comfortable. It's true. It is stock. And so. I'm used to having my own bike with my own cush seat. Yeah. So. But my butt was starting to hurt a little bit too. Yeah. But no issues with legs going mm. numb. No. Good. Um, I kind of wish I had highway pegs. Because yeah. I'm used to staying on my, on my pegs rather than the floorboards. <laughs> so that would have been a little more comfortable to be able to, just to be able to switch your give your feet a your, break. Uh, the way you're sitting on the bike, uh, yeah. you know, allows more circulation. You go back and forth, but without that option, you're kind of stuck on the floorboards. Yeah. So but anyway, um, so far so good. Give you another update once we get back to the, uh, the campground. But until then, enjoy the view. <laughs> Well, we rode yesterday for about three hours, three hours, three hours or so. Yeah. And um, we didn't vlog after we got back because we were tired. It was hot. It was like 96 degrees yesterday until we got up in the mountains. It dropped 10 it's degrees. like 85 so degrees up there. We came back down into the city. It was really yeah. hot. And so three hours was, for us, I haven't, we haven't been on a motorcycle in three years. Yeah. So for us, three hours on a bike was a lot. My butt hurt. Yeah. That's and actually, I was trying. <laughs> did have swamp ass. <laughs> I was actually trying to. I was trying to ride the motorcycle for long enough because I figured at some point, yeah, my leg's gonna go numb. Yeah. But I and I wanted to know what that point was. What? Yeah. But it actually never did. No. So we rode the whole three hours. My leg never went numb, which is weird because still at night, when you, you I get... when I lay down flat, my my right leg goes immediately numb. Yeah. So I know the nerve damage or whatever's going on is it's, not gone. No. So it's, I figured it's better. <laughs> I figured at some point it would go numb on the motorcycle, but it didn't, yeah. which is good. Yeah. So we've knocked out two of the three mm -hmm. requirements. One being <laughs> have enough space for our bicycles. Yeah. And then a means of towing. Yeah. Two, see if a cheap even, means of towing. Yeah, see if it's possible yeah. to to tow. So we're gonna figure that out in a couple weeks because we're meeting the manufacturer of the the towing okay. option so, yes. in Spokane in a couple of weeks. And then the other factor was physically, can I ride? And we answered that and now. And for the amount of riding we would be doing now as our veers, what we did yesterday doesn't yeah, I don't exceed think what we'll do at any one no, ride time. So. I don't think we're gonna be riding for three, four hours, hours at a time. time. Yeah. And the other thing was, is, is this is a stock seat. 
Yeah. <laughs> so that made it worse too. <laughs> yeah. Because all of our motorcycles, there's two things we immediately upgrade. Pipes Pipe. and seats. <laughs> And so if we do get a motorcycle, we'll have we to upgrade. will upgrade to an aftermarket yeah. seat. Unless it already comes with one. Yeah. Some pre-owned. Because we will get a pre-owned bike. We're not going to buy a yeah, new bike. Yeah, we're not going to go new anymore. Um, so we got it all done. We'll meet with the guy in a couple weeks yep. to see if that the towing option is a possibility. And we'll let you know. Yeah. How was it yesterday, though? You felt okay? Yeah. It, it was definitely different than having your own bike again. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was like, hmm. I mean, this is why I rode my own bike. <laughs> yeah. But it was nice to, to only be have to really look around. I didn't yeah. have to be driver attentive. Yeah, and it was beautiful up there. It's gorgeous out there. Yeah, the rock formations, step up on the Needles Highway and the, through the rock tunnels and stuff yeah. was, was just awesome. So, um, unfortunately, taking the rental back today. Yep. But uh, it was fun to ride. It was. And we'll keep you updated on uh, progress. Yeah. Or lack thereof. <laughs> <laughs> well, we uh, we got the hitch. Yes. And it works. Uh huh. So we're, so now <laughs> so now we're at Harley. Yes. Um, we drove two hours today to get to this particular dealership because where we are is um, there's not a lot, and I think it's like that everywhere in the country. country. Inventory is low. Inventory right now. is low. Yeah. yeah, and it's like that everywhere, and just because. The demand is higher. Yes. Like with houses and like with trucks that you can't get chips for because of Corona and all that stuff. Yeah. So uh, we saw a couple of bikes of interest at this location and we decided to go ahead and drive the couple hours because... Well, we saw a couple of bikes of interest and then a couple of days later they were sold. Yeah, the so they're going fast. So, so when we you like, see one... Crap, we should just go down there. <laughs> yeah. We had to wait until we knew the hitch would work properly. Yes, we so did have to wait for that. now that we have that, it's game on. Yes. So we drove down here. This is Timbertown Harley-Davidson in Salem, Oregon. And we're going to go inside and take a look at a couple of these bikes. Yes, they have the largest selection of used inventory. In, in, a, in, in a large like area. Pacific Northwest. Yeah. So, it's like, so our odds are good here. Very excited to see. Yeah. Um, and then excited to maybe test ride some and maybe buy one. <laughs> inventory than I thought that they would have. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of bikes in here and several of interest. Yes. So we're going to go shop. I like shopping. We'll <laughs> let you know if we find anything or if we take something home. <laughs> well, the dealership thing didn't work out so well. Yeah. <laughs> we found a couple of bikes that we were interested in. Yeah. Test rode one of them. Yeah. Liked it. Yeah. <laughs> Overpriced. Yeah. <laughs> All <Yeah>. the above. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I guess the demand is just so high right now that the prices are yeah. up there. Well, the dealerships are anyway. Mm -hmm. And because, people are paying them. Yeah, and that's why the prices are not going back down because someone will buy it. Mm-hmm. That someone's not this guy. No, we're not that someone. So I wasn't willing to pay over book, like a lot over book, which is what they're asking. And, and I was like five grand over. Yeah, and they were very willing to let me walk away because they know someone Some, somebody will, will pay it. it. So yeah. uh, we went um, into the private sector. Yeah. Started looking on Facebook Marketplace and Cycle Trader and Craigslist and um found some nice bikes sure did nicer than the ones that we were looking at the dealership yeah we did and for a better <laughs> price yes so if you're stuck around through the whole video <laughs> to kind of see how it all played out we will tell you that we have purchased a motorcycle yeah ha! <laughs> we have it with us and um this is parody 
coming up in some very soon videos. We're going to talk all about it. We're going to show it to you, tell you all about the motorcycle that we purchased, why we purchased that one. And how we're moving it across the country in a fifth wheel. <laughs> That's the burning question because I know everybody's thinking, okay, they have what? this motorcycle, they have a fifth wheel, not a toy hauler. And so how are they getting this bike around? We're purposely not showing you yet. And I will say, we can say though, it's not on a flatbed trailer. It's not. Because that's um, where everybody's mind's going to go. Yeah. And the reason that we haven't shared it yet is because we want to get comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. And make sure we know exactly what we're doing <laughs> yes. correctly before we show it to you. We've used it once. Yeah. And it worked well the first time. Yeah, and we had no issues. But you never really want to film on the first try. Exactly. Because it's goat rope. Plus, you know, filming distracts you from what you're doing, and I wanted to make sure I didn't mess it up. Yeah. So It'd be an expensive screw-up. It would be. <laughs> so stay tuned. We're going to show you the motorcycle. We're going to take you on a, on a ride with us on our mm -hmm. first ride out. And we are going to show you how we move this thing around. Yeah. Very exciting stuff coming it up. It is. Yeah. I love how everything fell right into place. <laughs> yeah. It was meant to be. I'm glad the dealerships didn't work out. Me too. Um, once we get that all figured out and start talking about the motorcycle, then there will be lots more footage on our videos about mm -hmm. us riding around and having a good time and hopefully uh, hitting up some, some veteran events so that we can contribute that way too. I know we do contribute mm -hmm. uh, just by donating. We like to go to these events that are that are for veterans and at least show up, buy a ticket for a ride, eat some food, spend some money with some vendors yeah. and give some money back to veterans. That's right. So cliffhanger, you don't get to see the bike yet, but you will <laughs> very soon. So stick around. And like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen mm -hmm. hero. We appreciate you guys so much for watching. If you want to get involved with helping us help vets, everything you need to know is down in the description. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.